Rejoice! Boy Kills World, not to be confused with Boy Meets World. <laughs> when the spawn meets world. Banger had it going on, then she was. <laughs> she did. <laughs> the banger! This film stars Bill Skarsgård, as you know, famed from it. But it's a family that runs this world that is kind of like the Hunger Games in a way. It's like it's like a post post apocalypse type scenario where yeah. it's like at one point you can tell there was like a war and then maybe there was like a Mad Max type thing. But mm -hmm. this is like after that they're trying to settle. What seems with I guess might have been like unruly area, uh, and they're doing it with like an iron fist. These guys are mm -hmm. like complete dictators. It's like complete. family of like psychopaths. They sure. completely effed up the world. Everything is mm -hmm. effed, and our main character, who is nameless, we just call him the boy from now on. He is on a mission to kill these people. He has mm -hmm. been he is hooked up with this guy in the woods who calls himself the shaman. The shaman Ooh. is also a complete psychopath and also Ooh. completely insane. Maybe hooked to some sort of psychedelic drug. I don't know. So we have Bill Skarsgård here. We know nothing about this dude. We don't even know his name. We don't know anything. All we know is that he was built to be a weapon. We also discover he's mute, so he doesn't speak. He mostly communicates by reading people's lips and stuff like that. It's almost like comedic how focused he <laughs> is on killing his target. That he doesn't seem to give a damn that he can't no. speak and anything like that. And frankly, this world is so bizarre and crazy and eclectic that most people don't even realize he can't speak. I actually right. enjoy it it's insane tone uh yeah i really did enjoy this film too i was like yo this thing is stylish it has yeah, a lot fun. of style <laughs> and yeah. it's fun he has an inner monologue voice it's played right. by the guy who does uh it's the guy from bob's burgers i'm closing you gotta go teddy what why it's dark there's no food there's nothing here for you <laughs> yeah it's the guy from boss burgers he also does archer <laughs> Ciao. cyril shut your pout hole except the fact that lana was so far out of your league that impregnating her would have basically been interspecies breeding and get on with your life because he picks this voice from a video game that him and his sister played a lot back in the day <laughs> oh, shit. Ha. Oh. player one wins game over I really like the action in this. I really like the fight choreography. For me, the movie that this movie reminded me the most about of was uh, Silent Night, which we saw yes. at Christmas time. He's just yes. trying his best to understand this insane, crazy world. I mean, half time we barely understand because it's it's through his <laughs> eyes, you know. But the running gag is that he can communicate or he can read people's lips until he finds a guy who's got a beard. Hilarious. He can't, he can't read his lips. And this guy, of course, oh. ha only has the most important things to say. Just so life and death. And mm -hmm. our main character, boy, he's just like, oh, shit. This feels important. This is the whole plan. You cannot go in guns ablazing. blazing. Security's going to be airtight. Deeply confused. I'd be honest, it's not the deepest movie in the world, okay? Sure, man. I'm not, I'm not saying this is like some sort of Nostradamus bullshit or something, but there is actually a lot more going on, including like some really big twists that recolor yeah. the entire film and recolor characters and stuff like that. And I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Until a point where there's a point in the film, and I don't want to go into spoilers here, but we learned some new things about two characters. And we learned that these two characters uh, are related to the evil people. They're part of the, the evil family. I feel like the movie was trying to say that no one in this family should survive. And I agreed. I'm like, yeah, I'm with you. And then we find out the two characters that we actually like are part of the family. Those two characters are very, very like prominent in like murdering an innocent family. So I'm like, it's okay to kill these guys. And I imagine if you're like squeamish or if this type of humor Ooh. is not for you this is gonna be a <laughs> rough watch because this movie is gory super gory so gory in fact apparently sam raimi's like main thing that he did to help the film was to keep it from getting an, an x rating like he helped he helped them dodge <laughs> you know the, 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 the sensors yes people you can use a cheese grater as a weapon <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> you yeah. know i really enjoyed this film a lot Devin, you enjoyed it but 
They didn't go all the way. <laughs> it's like commit. But I still liked it though. Still liked yeah, it. Yeah, you still liked it. And I did understand it. It didn't go all the way. But uh, this is something that I think people should see. Um, but more importantly, what did you think of this film? Get in the comments below and let us know what you thought. A boy kills world. Damn it. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We really do appreciate you guys. We are right around the corner from a thousand subscribers. So if you're new, please hit that subscribe button right at the bottom. It's Do right it. there screaming your name. All right, <laughs> for sure. And if you did like this review, please hit the thumbs up. All right. Or you get that thumbs down, whichever you choose. It is your opinion. But just remember one thing. It is mostly wrong. We'll see you guys in another video. All right. Take care.